So, Kate, you have probably heard of sacred geometry before, I'm assuming. And if um, not, then yeah. what, did, what went through your mind when you first heard about teaching some of your students about sacred geometry? Uh, I had never heard of sacred geometry before, um, although it made perfect sense when I did hear about it. And I think I used to teach biology, and I think I could have brought this into the classroom. I actually would show them the geometry of the inside of fruits, um, but I never would have put it into terms like this. And to connect math and science, like any time there's an occasion to do so, it's really powerful. And this is now connecting math and science and art, and it's great. Um, as a teacher, why do you feel these approaches aren't used in traditional educational environments now? Um, as a teacher, I'm not sure why we don't do things like this. As long as the kids learn from it and like doing it, it's valuable, it's really powerful, and I, maybe it's a matter of time in the classroom, maybe it's a matter of resources, we can't have compasses for everyone. Um, I really, I don't know why we don't do things like this. Um, do you envision embracing or bringing any of what you've experienced into your own teaching practices? Um, well, now that I'm teaching physics, I don't really think we can do much with this. We're about to start with um, wavelengths and things like that, so I'm not sure I can use this. But as a service project group, we were talking about putting on a week of almost having workshops for students and teaching them different, you know, maybe mosaic work. But this is definitely something that I can see teaching some of the younger students at the school now because I'm sure they'll love it. I'm sure it would teach them a lot about geometry and circles and lines and proportions and also just get them interested in um, art in general. How you gentlemen doing? Um, let me ask you about your drawing. It um, looks like a variation from what we've started, but you've taken some additional steps. Um, what are you experimenting with? What are you looking for in your own work? I am just including circles of different radii, so I can see. You know, I'm following the original pattern of connecting the 12 points along the circles, but now I have other circles overlapping, so I can try to connect um, the points where they overlap, just looking for new patterns. So how do you feel about the experience so far? This has been great. Yeah. Uh, I've really enjoyed all of this. Thank you very much.